Hey guys, this is the Angry GM, and welcome. We're playing Alien Isolation. Now, I've been kind of looking forward to this. I don't know a whole lot about the game, but I keep hearing that it's like super ball scary and a pretty big game. So, uh, I picked it up and I've been itching to play it, so I figured I'd record it, and here we go. So, if you're wondering, my voice is a little growlier than normal because I've been working at the haunted house that I work at in October, and so, you know, doing the deep guttural voices and chasing people around isn't exactly conducive to my throat's well-being, so I get kind of gravelly over the course of the month. So, I have just started this up. I haven't even fidgeted around with the options yet, so I'm going to look through there. Oop. I'm going to look through there, make sure everything is on the up and up, and then we're going to get started, all right? So, I'm going to tone down the graphics just a little bit. High. And... Uh, let's see how it runs on 1612, so... Yes. Alright, audio. It's all the way cranked up. Let's turn on subtitles for you guys at home. Back. Alright. Let's get into it. Start game. We'll go with medium. Okay. Siegson Lo. Siegson. Well, let's go with there. Does that seem good? That seems good to me. Alright. So let's see if this game is any good. So keep hearing that it's actually a decent, you know, uh, installment to the Alien series. And I really like the Aliens universe, so... Here we go. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. That's Sigourney Weaver. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Now, if it doesn't run that well, I'll, uh... I'll do a, a transition, like a skip transition, adjust the the uh, the video settings, and then continue the video. So, like, I won't make you suffer through that. Ripley, I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's... Proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I facility. know what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you? If you're willing. 
Here's a coffee. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrents if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Now I'm guessing this is some kind of retcon to the story that got messed up at about Alien th Cubed. I mean, three. Hooray, cryosleep. Alright. Hey. I can look around. Oh, nice. And it's already better than Colonial Marines. Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to fidget a bit with the mouse control. I do not like how sluggish that thing is responding, so let's crank up the mouse sensitivity a little bit. I'm used to my turn-in-a-hurry horror games. Too much! <laughs> Holy shit, I give myself whiplash every time I turn around. Way too far. That should be a little bit closer to what I'm looking for. There we go, that's a lot better. Alright, let's have a look around and see what we got here. Frank Herman, War in Totality. Uh... Huh, alright. That is so cool, everything actually looks 80s again. Now I wonder if, he, if, if what he meant by the corporation was he was talking about Wayland yutani Door locked. I am stuck in cryosleep. Whatever. Okay, there's a green thing here. Um, okay. Whatever the reason for that was. Please sign in. Torrens. Welcome, A. Ripley. Alright. I wonder how they come up with names for these ships, because I've noticed that all of the ships don't have a theme that I can follow. Like, you have the Nostromo, the Sulaco, the, the Torrens, so on and so forth. I'm kind of wondering how they come up with the names for these things. This is so cool! God, I wish I had hands that I could use here. I just want to touch everything. You. What are you? Verlaine, you on the lookout for navigation uh, for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship, and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him, and he's got good papers. Same old story, the megacorps undercut him, picked up all his clients, contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still, I hear Wayland yutani pay well. Good luck to you. If you can't beat him, right? Let's catch up when you get back. Blaine. Interesting. All right, so that's already setting the uh, the the normal find the notes pace for any given horror game. You know, let's find out about how normal everything is before everything goes to shit. What? Oh, oh, it's a shower. La da da. And... Okay, and now I am showered. I don't I don't want to shower anymore. Okay. That's that's a nice touch, but it's kind of pointless. Alright. 
So, what do we got? Giant green computer. What are you? Oh, crew roster. Signed in, signed in. You know what? I'll bet anything that if this if this turns out to be on this ship, I'll be able to come and check here and see which characters have died. That's that might be kind of cool, actually. Registration points to manually save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. That's useful. Okay, so these are save points. Yes. Fantastic. Wait, enemies? Plural? I have no idea what this is. <gasps> is there a crafting system? No, no, no. No, give me all of those. I hit the wrong button. Give me. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to stick all that scrap into a bucket and put it on an alien's head. Bonding agent. Oh, this is so cool. I'm so excited. Is there an inventory? No, I guess not. Alright, fuck it. Let's put on some clothes. Okay. I got myself some shoes. Okay, objective complete. Get dressed. That's a good objective to have. Uh, okay. Sudden noises are creepy. I mean, I know I'm not even in the horror section of the game yet, but goddamn. Oh, it's so cool looking. This is gonna be nerve wracking when the shit hits the fan. Okay, the cryopods. They say your mind slows in cryo sleep. Ooh, that's eerie. I love it. Fucking love it! Give me more. More, 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 more. I want to see everything. Oh, and it feels like the old 80s tech, too. It's not like all the weird hyper science. Okay, you're a person. I'm going to talk to you in a bit. You're like one of the. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Huh. Ooh, nice fog effects. Alright. Can I run? I cannot run. What was that? Okay, that is a button that seems to do something, but I don't know what. It's making me look down a little. Oh, another crew member. Okay, you. Ah, oh, Ripley. Yes. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Is that the chick I saw? You don't need as much sleep as the rest of us, so you might be a synthetic. What are you? I'm gonna poke you. Oh shit! Okay, don't want to get cut in half. Alright, that's kind of cool. Interesting. Now, I wonder if they actually, like, researched the sets and shit for Alien before they did this. That would be kind of cool. Oh, wait, where the fuck am I going? I wanted to go talk to that random chick who just kind of sat there. Come on. Um, no? No? Good. No? Okay. I'll, uh... Take my leave then. Okay, where are you? Click, click, click. Alright, lights are on. Fog. Taylor, good morning. 
Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used, you to, get it. used to it. Ah. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Raylan Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. All right. Sweet. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Cool. I'm gonna go rob everything of its everything before that happens. What are you? Let's see what message you've got. And Taylor, Nostromo incident, Wayland yutani file. Hey Taylor, I got your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the files, and the incident happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the Wayland yutani cargo vessel, the USCSS Nostromo, went missing. Uh, no trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from a new science officer, the rest of the crew had worked together before seven and all. Dallas, Ash, Kane... Or is it Kane? Ripley and Lambert. Okay. Uh, outbound and return transportation for Wayland Yutani retrieval team to Sevastopol Station. Team consists of three Wayland Yutani employees Samuels, C, Ripley, A, N, Taylor, N. So there's only three of us? I thought there were five people on the. Uh, on the roster. Maybe I misunderstood. Or maybe the others are in cryo still or something. I don't know. Hope you all had a restful journey. Nope. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sebastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how are we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Oh, I would very much like to do that. Or look out the window, that would be even cooler, but hey. Okay, briefing document. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is the commercial vessel Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sevastopol traffic control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale and Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers port side over. <laughs> Hello, Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrens. Say again. The station's comms seem pretty screwed up, so our fitted sound will suit with a radio booster. I can okay. only keep the Torrens in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Oh, good. 
vacuum. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depressurizer. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. So cool. What happened here? My God, Ripley, you're doing good, Tim. <laughs> Just keep moving. <laughs> Taylor Ripley, hold on. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> okay. Shit goes down. I see how it is. Okay. Now that was kind of a cool little touch. You notice how you were only hearing the sound that vibrated through the suit, because sound doesn't carry through space, but it does carry inside pressurized atmosphere. Oh, this is so neat. Alright. Fuck? What did I do? Oh, I put away my suit. Okay. That's kind of cool. Alright. Into the belly of the beast. Huh? They appear to not have a flashlight. Alright. Save. Click. There's a monster right behind you. Oh, great. Blasting cap. I bet you I can make weapons. Time to man up and have a look. Okay, I found my crouch button. Oh, sweet fucking Mary. Let's have a look down that other passage first. I'm not scared or anything. I'm just. Oh, God, there's nothing down that passage. You know, just being thorough. Right? Thorough. Oh. <laughs> okay. Whatever that was about. Warning. Sebastopol stability compromised. Proceed to the nearest Marshall checkpoint and stand by while orbital stabilizers realign. Okay. Whoa! Alright. 
Alright, so maybe here? In we go. I think I know what's going on. This was in the, the path of a planet, and if the orbital stabilizers aren't online, that means that we're slowly being dragged into the gravity of the planet. bad place to be in right now. Alrighty. Scrap. Access terminal. Let's see what happened. Sevastolink. <laughs> Older corrupted. Decommissioning. So boys and girls, you probably heard the whispers about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm if it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placement, but for now, we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help, but it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to marshal weights. And... Another corrupted folder. Okay. Okay, so we got a skeleton crew on board. Ta 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 ta. I, uh, no. Oh shit! Did I? Oh! Oh fuck! Ah, ooh, ah, ow, ow, ow. Okay. Ow. Okay, maybe that was a bad idea. God damn. Hurt myself. Awesome. A flare. This'll help. Yeah, but how do we use. Ah! Oh, open the radio inventory. I like this. Flare? R to activate. Ooh. Oh no, isn't that pretty? Um, uh, okay, where, are, where am I going? Oh, good, baggage. get ourselves up this ladder. Up, 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 up. Oh god, I climb slow. Who climbs like that? And I get my face eaten. Nom. Okay, compound B, whatever that is. Okay. Enough of that creepy bullshit. Uh-uh. Good atmosphere, though. Hello? Anyone here? Mm. Whoa. Okay, how did I do that? Do I still have a flare? No, I don't have a flare. Turn. 
terminals. What terminals? What fucking terminals? To a dot in your map. Okay, let's get this saved just in case. What am I looking at? Okay. Let's use this. E. Oh. Try it again. Come on. Make it happen. I turned something on. Did I do as good? Okay, so that's the link. Langley, if you're looking for a stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Don't worry. No one goes down to the terminal anymore, not after what happened. Also, we need, we're need we out of meds and low on water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe it'll teach you to take care of the stuff in the future. All right, hold on. I'm going to jot down that number just in case. Zero, three, four, zero. I have a feeling I'm going to need it sooner or later. Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to check other messages. Let's see what else is here. Come on. Give me messages. Goodbye from Seekson. Public notice of decommission and uh, blah blah blah. Vast pulsation. We've had a long journey together, but sadly it's coming to an end. Seekson Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked and lived at Sevastopol over the years and hopes that Seekson has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station was never has never wavered. Right. Be assured that Seekson's Apollo Central AI and working Joe Android uh oh androids will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sevastopol isn't just a station, it's people. Meh. Okay. Uh. Okay. Audio. Oop. Harris Turner? Oh, wait. Harris Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait's up. Okay, that's kinda cool. Whoop, wrong button. There we go. Power junction D3 departures, restore power to departures. Uh oh. Ah! I hit the stupid escape button again. Alright. Oh. What? I'm going, I'm going. I have a bad feeling about this. Said to every Star Wars character ever. Okay, before I go and follow them, I'm gonna have a peek around in here. Oh, good. What is... Ah, oh, shit. Let me out. You know what? Actually, instead of following them right away, I am going to cut the video here, and we are going to continue in part two. So, this has been the Angry GM. Thanks for coming along. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. I can't wait to do more. This is fucking awesome, and uh, I can't wait. So, see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.